Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 15 of our Flutter tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about how can we add images and assets in our Flutter project. So let's start. So I have created this uh, um, project in which I have this uh, uh, man and which uh, uses this run app method to uh, call in this class which is extending a stateless widget and now we have this uh, built-in build method which return a material app uh, widget and inside this material app we have a scaffold widget and in scaffold we are creating this app bar which has the title uh, use image in flutter now we have another property called uh, body so we will use image in this body but, uh, but first we have to add the asset, assets folder now I will come to this uh, drop down and click on new new directory and I will name this uh, directory assets now I will click enter now you can see that this uh, asset uh, folder is created here now I will again click on this and new and new directory and it will be images now I've created an images folder inside this uh, uh, asset directory now I'll download an image from the uh, from uh, internet and use it here so I have downloaded an image called nature uh, in my download so uh, showing downloads so now it is not in this downloads it is in music this net nature uh, dot jpg so i'll drag it to this uh, android studio and then i will drag it to this uh, image folder but it uh, is not dragged successfully so i'll go again and drag it again on this android studio and now to this uh, copy to this images folder now it is not added again so i'll go here and this time i'll copy this copy and uh, i'll paste it here so on uh, this time it is here and this uh, images so now i will add in this image so um, but before adding it here i have to add it in uh, this uh, yml file pubspec yml file and uh, you have to edit uh, down here in this uh, flutter section so i will add in here uh, assets full colon enter and now dash space assets all slash uh, images slash and now I can use it now I'll pub get this so if there is any issue here it will show me here the issue now it is showing me an error it is showing me an error here but actually the uh, error is here so I'll make some spaces here and I'll again pub get it now the error is gone and the process finished with the exit code zero so it means that it is okay now you have to arrange it in this manner and this will be attached to this uh, line then we would have two spaces in this assets and this uh, the this uh, path should be below this assets uh, inside this assets now i'll go to this man dot dot file and now uh, here I will use image dot asset and here I will use uh, the path of the image so I'll use assets images follow slash nature dot jpg and now I'll run this application now I will edit uh, or connected my device uh, to this uh, Android Studio so I'll uh, open its screen 
Now the app is running on the device, so let's go to device uh, and you can see this image is showing here. So we'll add in some more properties to this image. So I'll go to Android Studio. Now here I will use the fit property. So I'll use fit and uh, we'll make this a uh, box uh, fit fit dot fill and now if I run this uh, application again now if I go to device now you can see it, it does not have any effect on this so we will give some height and width to this uh, image so I'll use uh, uh, height is equal to double dot infinity and uh, as I will use uh, same for the width width is equal to double dot infinity and now if I rerun the application and now if I go to device now you can see it is uh, stretched to full screen so in this way you can uh, stretch it to full screen the image now we will uh, get an image from uh, network so for that I'll come to Android Studio remove this uh, code from here and I'll make this uh, image dot net work and uh, now here uh, I'll pass in a uh, URL or I will remove the whole code and then we will create it again so you shaped now I'll remove this and okay now I will use image dot network and now here it takes the URL so we'll get a URL from internet so I'll go here image um, background and high image background and now if I search this and now if I go to this uh, this image Now I'll right click on this image and I'll uh, copy link address and now I'll minimize this and I'll come here and control V it here. Now you can see it is here. Now if I run this application again, now the app is showing an error on this so I'll remove this and now if I run it, it again. Now this image URL is showing an error, so I'll use another URL which I have uh, copied from this uh, JSON placeholder site. So this one will show this image, so I'll copy this and I'll remove this uh, URL from here. I'll remove this up to here and now I'll control V this and now let's run it again now the app is running so if I go to device now you can see it is showing here so I'll give it a custom height and custom width so for that I have to put a comma here and then uh, height uh, or width not here inside this uh, image so I'll comma uh, width is equal to double dot infinity and now comma height double dot infinity and now I'll use fit property and I will use a box fit fit dot 
cover or fill and now if I run this again and now if I go to device now you can see it fill the whole screen and in this way you can and download images from uh, network or from URL in Flutter. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.